Good day! I am John Virgilio Sicabildo, your student nurse for today from Our Lady of Fatima University, Quezon City. And today, I'm gonna demonstrate blood glucose monitoring. Review the patient's medical history and current medications. Assess the patient for signs and symptoms of hyperglycemia or hypoglycemia. To correlate data to pursue acute action due to an onset of symptoms. Determine if the test requires a special timing, for example, before or after meals. Gather all the supplies needed, such as non-sterile gloves, alcohol swab, lancet, cotton balls, reagent strips, and blood glucose meter. Before the procedure, perform safety steps. Perform hand hygiene to prevent the spread of microorganisms. And check the room for transmission-based precautions. Introduce yourself, your role, the purpose of your visit, and an estimate of the time it will take. Confirm the patient ID using two patient identifiers, which is the name and the date of birth. Explain the process to the patient and ask if they have any questions. Ms. Cabildo, blood glucose monitoring reveals individual patterns of blood glucose changes and helps in the planning of meals, activities, and what time to take medications. Also, it helps to prevent complications of hypoglycemia and hyperglycemia. Be organized and systematic. Use appropriate listening and questioning skills and assess ABCs. And ensure the patient's privacy and dignity. Have the patient wash their hands with soap and warm water. And position the patient comfortably in a semi-upright position. Encourage the patient to keep their hands warm. Remove a reagent strip from the container and reseal the container cap to keep the strips free from damage from environmental factors. Do not touch the test pad portion of the reagent strip. Follow the manufacturer's instruction to prepare the meter for measurement. Place the unused reagent strip in the glucometer or on a clean, dry surface. Apply non-sterile gloves. Keep the area to be punctured in a dependent position. Do not milk or massage the finger side. Dependent position will increase blood flow to the area. Select the appropriate puncture site. Cleanse the site with an alcohol swab for 30 seconds in a circular motion. and allow it to dry. Perform the skin puncture with the lancet using a quick deliberate motion against the patient's skin. The patient may have a preference for the site used. Avoid fingertip pads and use the side of the fingers. Also avoid fingers that are calloused, have broken skin or are bruised. Gently squeeze above the site to produce a large droplet of blood. The droplet of blood needs to be large enough to cover the test pad on the reagent strip. Wipe away the first drop of blood with cotton balls. Transfer the second drop of blood to the reagent strip per manufacturer's instruction. The test pad must absorb the droplet of blood for accurate results. Ask the patient to apply pressure to the puncture site to stop the bleeding. Read the results on the unit display. Turn off the meter and dispose of the test strip, cotton balls, and the lancet according to agency policy. Use caution with the lancet to prevent an unintentional sharps injury. Remove your gloves and once again perform hand hygiene. 
document the results, and related assessment findings. Report critical values according to agency policy, such as values below 70 or greater than 300, and any associated symptoms. And that was my video on how to do blood glucose monitoring. Again, I am John Virgilio C. Camildo, your student nurse from Our Lady of Fatima University, Castle City. Good day.